Running ultra marathons has allowed me to explore my limits in so many incredible and inspiring places around the globe. From the peaks of Andorra to the depths of the Copper Canyon, to glacial valleys of China and more, I'm continually drawn to these equally brutal and breathtaking experiences. What the? We're now bringing that same sense of wonder and adventure to my home state with a route across the heart of central Arizona's most historic towns, desert canyons, and mountain landscapes. In 2019, I scouted over 200 miles of the Cocodona route with my good friend, Anthony Culpepper. This is that story. You see Sedona in the distance and it's very subtle. You're kind of in some red sand even early on, but as you go, you just kind of, it gets closer and closer and closer and the anticipation is building because Sedona is just this world-class trail system, you know, so well known around the world. Yeah, we, we began that morning on the Lime Kiln Trail, which is funny enough, a route that I ran with Michael Versteeg before. We did a point to point from Dead Horse to Sedona. It might have been, I don't even know if it was pre-scouting for this race, but it was, it was something I'd done before. Uh, but doing it with Noah and Anthony was awesome. One of the big intents for Jamil and I doing this this route, um, you know, as as our as our preview was, you know, proving that it could be done, um, just from a logistical standpoint, proving and trying to connect some of these pieces together that were a little bit of a black box to us. We didn't, you know, and that Jerome Cottonwood section definitely was one of those. Like it's, you know, it's a lot of private lands. It's there's a lot of jurisdictions through there. There's a, a, a national monument, which is part of the National Park Service system of things. There's a state park, which is where um, we had camped that night. Um, so there's state lands. There's you know the national forest uh, through there. And so, and the, the Verde Valley itself, there's only a couple of bridge crossings across the Verde. And so, you know, trying to make sure that we're, you know, accommodating runner safety, the aesthetics, and then the logistical feasibility of permitting an event. You know, so that's kind of all the stuff that's happening in the background is, as Jamil and I are trying to <laughs> trying to make some miles. So, uh, um, you know, a lot of a lot of looking at maps for sure. <laughs> always been a dream to have an event that travels through Sedona and for it to be on this course is it's the linchpin in my opinion it's it's a section that is it's the highlight and of all the sections it's the most iconic I think
Because that looks like it. Because this is going to be more like on the city side. Yeah. And this might be more interesting. So you hook down there, then up. It's a little windy, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it's we. Other, other, so we're. I mean, we're still going to be. Other if we hit, do Herkenheim, we'll just be down below here. It, you know, hitting Sedona. I mean, it's an amazing place. Um, just from the aesthetic standpoint, you know, for folks who have never experienced Sedona who are running this this event, like, welcome. It's 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 beautiful. There are a lot of options as far as trails um, in and around Sedona and trying to piece those together to kind of maximize the runner experience through there is, you know, in some ways it's like, well, you can just pick any, any, any combination of those and it's going to be amazing. But there is some actually some tricky um, logistical components to running around to putting on an event in Sedona due to the proximity and the size of the wilderness areas around Sedona. And so, you know, the route that we're doing is around Sedona, it's like the actual the kind of loop around Sedona, you know, that's all, you know, all non wilderness areas, but they come really close. And there are a couple of sections where, um, you know, if you look at one map, maybe it's going through wilderness and look at another map, it's maybe not. There was a sign in the store in Jerome and it was like, I have too many crystals, said no one ever. And I was like, uh. <laughs> Someone would buy that. It's a small market, but somebody's gonna get Somebody it. Yeah. It was funny because going into it, I was, you know, concerned about Sedona being the, like the hottest thing on the course. And for us in 2019, it was one of the coldest.
Yeah, so we ended our Sedona trip just on the edge as it was getting dark and we decided to get a hotel that night again just because of how wet everything was. It's, this is such a weird trail, but it's kind of the perfect way to cap it off. You get the closing view of Sedona, closing view of Mingus, and then you head down. Kind of sweet, kind of perfect. See you guys in a few hours. Have fun.